Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Wait for people to come on in. I know it said 11.10 or 11.15 because <clears throat> when you schedule, I just created the uh, the schedule now, and it says in order to do it for Facebook, it has to be at least 10 minutes in advance. So you can't do it within the first 10 minutes. So that's why I had to uh, schedule it for 11.10 or 11.15 or something, but don't worry. Uh, what's the... Cassandra, welcome. We just got more breaking news in the last 10 minutes. What what breaking news do we have? I know about the rest of the day, but I haven't heard in the last 10 minutes. What, what do you got? I'm going to uh, figure out how to copy the address so you guys can call in. Uh, that's not it. Give me a sec. It's such a pain in the ass to do it this way, but... The only way to do it. A couple of minutes, gang. A couple of minutes, and we'll get started. But in the, in the meantime, tell me what you got. Yeah, that's the link to call in. I'm going to um, put it in the uh, pin message in a moment when I figure out how to do this, or if Kai Kai. Or Brian, if you guys are here yet, if you can um, type it in the chat so I can pin it. Because once again, by phone, I cannot cannot do it. I have to type it in manually. So if one of you can post that in the chat so I can pin it. I'm sure Kai Kai will arrive in a second. To help me out, if not, Brian should also arrive shortly. But uh, Cassandra, what what information do you have? And whenever you guys have time, please do give a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Thank you in advance. And no pressure, but anybody who wants to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do so. I'm also setting up another um, channel, which I will explain in a moment. It is um, going to be about interrogations. Uh, but yeah, what do you what do you have there, Sandra? Let let me know. You said you have some news from the last ten minutes. Or are you sure it wasn't um, that same one from before, Miranda Baker or whatever her name was? And you put the link in the chat box. Um, yeah, let me um, let me type it in. Oh, a new one. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, Kai Kai, do you see it there on the screen? Can can you type it in, or can any is can somebody else type it in, and then I could I could pin it. That's the uh, the link to call in for whoever wants to call in. No, I know you can't click on it. You have to type it in. You have to actually type it in. Just type in call into the show and then type that in, HTTPS, whatever. Can't You can't click on it because it's... Uh, I'm not on um, tablet. Give me a sec. Kai, Kai Kai, in the meantime, call in and then I will. Uh, I can't type it here. I have to use the tablet. Hold on. Okay, that's fine. Call in. Let me um, put it in now. Hold on.
to chat amongst yourselves in the meantime. I'm here. Oh, I got it. Real pain. Yes, this is. Forward slash. EJ. All right. I hope that's the right address. Kai Kai, if you can see that, try to click on it and uh, come in. I have also pinned it. So anybody that wants to call in, click on the link at the top of the screen, uh, at the top of the chat, and we'll be able to uh, to discuss what's uh, what's going on. Kira, welcome back. Favorite darkness, hello. Uh, Kai Kai is here. Ciao, Bella. Hello. Can you hear me? Oh, wow. Yeah, you. So it works, I guess, that way. It works well. Why you ping the message? Yeah, I typed it in. Then you, then you click on the link from the message. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's where I did it from. Um, there are a couple of people that already want to come in. Uh, let me see here. Hold on. Let me, uh, your favorite darkness. Hey, Canada. Yeah, Canada. Canada in the house. And there's the Brian. The Brian has arrived. Brian, you coming in? We might as well chat with Kai Kai for a little bit before all the others jump on in. There's quite a few people already waiting to come in. Um, Stephen, hello from Los Angeles. 8 p.m. over there. Brian, you got a yo, Bri, C, not Bri, L. I'm yeah, apparently. Brian, K will show up later. Huh? I'm thinking the other Brian, Brian K. He will show up later. Oh, yeah, he'll, he'll, be, he'll be here too. And here is the big Bri, C. Hey. <laughs> What's going, going on? on? How's it going, man? Hey, Kai. Yeah, I figured I might as well get you in here before, you know, Kai Kai falls asleep. Kai's out. Or, yeah, it's, around, it's around that time. Yeah. So how was your day, Bri? Uh, it was okay. Uh, my dad uh, came up from North Carolina. Um, I haven't seen him for nearly three years, so that was nice. Oh, that's a surprise. Yeah, it was. It was nice. Was it unexpected or was it planned? It was planned. Uh, I thought he was going to stay through like tomorrow, Monday, or through tomorrow and like the weekend until Monday. Uh, yeah. But he actually just came up for like a couple hours and then drove back. Ah, okay. That's good. That's, it's quite a haul, though. It's almost five hours driving one way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's about five hours more or less. But I mean, it was worth it. It's the weather's still okay, right? So, yeah, yeah, it was 100% worth it. Yeah, I haven't seen him for a long time. Yeah, good, good, man. So, when, is, when, are, you, when are you going to go see him? Like, does he always come to you, or do you ever go that down there? I go there sometimes. Uh, but, you know, with COVID and with the surgery, it's, uh, you know, it hasn't been really feasible. Tough. Brian. Oh, I was good that he came by. Go ahead, Kai. I was going to ask Brian, when are you going to come up here? Oh, as soon as restrictions are lifted, I am 100% coming to see you guys. Absolutely. No, that's great. Yeah, we have to spend like a weekend together. Yeah, before uh, Kai Kai, I remember I mentioned to you what's happening next year. He's getting, uh, he's getting hitched, shall we say. I am. Yeah. I know already. I think next uh, October. What? Next October. Next October, yeah, one year. Next October, a year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in one year. Um, Colleen, we have a fugitive. But you know what? Today I heard that it's not for the reasons we were all expecting. It's because he used a, uh, 
Was it a credit card or a debit card of hers? Um, I don't know which, but yeah, apparently he's uh, he's on the run for uh, stealing money out of an account or trying to take money out of an account illegally. For all the stupid reasons. Yeah, this is stupid. So he stole her stuff. Well, apparently it was hers. I'm, I'm assuming it was hers. Wow. Yeah, your favorite darkness says Capital One card, debit, and a checking account. <laughs> How stupid did you have to be, though, to do that? Yeah, and he's trying to hide, and he's using all that stuff to let people know where he is. Well, no, but apparently he did it, um, I think it was either August 30th or September 1st. So she must have been gone by by then. But we had some kind of idea because what was it, August 28th when they received that weird text message from her phone, which was obviously him. So everything is correlating to the right dates. <clears throat> um, I don't know what, what, who was saying something about something happened 10 minutes ago. Cassandra, when, when you mentioned it, you mentioned that, uh, here, more breaking news in the last 10 minutes. What was it? Are you talking about the, the woman who gave him a ride? What what did she say? Somebody said that uh, another girl gave him a ride to the camping area. The, the story just gets more and more weird by the by the hour. Wow. Um on chat YouTube while waiting. I can't chat on YouTube while waiting. Oh, let me. Uh, isn't um, Adventure? What's her name? So, uh, not Sabrina. Uh, let me get her in. Hold on. One sec. Okay, I think you guys are all added, right? Let's try to keep it though one uh, person talking at a time or else it's going to get too convoluted. Hello, hello, everybody. You guys around? Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, how's it going, hey. Ty? I'm doing hello. great. Hi, welcome back. You were here yesterday, right? Yeah. No, not you, Ty. I know you were. Um, <laughs> Adventure, you're you're that the one from Instagram, right? Yeah. Hey, I okay, just yeah. had some breaking news from like an hour ago. Um, I That's tried to I put it in the it? chat, but it was too long. So I'll just read you what it says here. It says, a source close to the family of Brian Laundrie told CNN's Chris Cuomo on Thursday, which is today, that Gabby Petito's fiance, who is now subject of a federal warrant, left his parents' home in Florida um, and last Tuesday, without his cell phone and wallet. So, and that that's it? Yeah, but that confirms that he is on foot in that area. He's not, you know, like a thousand miles away. Um, this is from a neighbor or a source close to the family that's leaking information. But they told it to CNN, so, I mean... That's pretty ballsy to do in the middle of a federal investigation where you could get indicted for um, misleading the FBI. But and CNN it, it, also constantly lies, so you can't believe you know anything like that. Mm. Didn't uh, the neighbors across the street or something tell Fox News something about him last week and they, that was the only source that they spoke to, apparently? Yeah, they said they went camping right after he came back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, who 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 believes what between the two stations? Well, they're both true. I mean, they could both be true. That they went camping for a week, they came back, and then he left on Thursday. Then they called him in. What was it, Friday? I mean, if it wasn't his parents, though, how could they possibly know whether he had a cell phone or wallet? At all. How could they know that? Maybe somebody, it's a source close to the family, so it could be a relative, it could be anybody that knows insider information, you know. Mm. Yeah, but if you saw his cell phone was at home? Yeah, he left barefoot with no phone or wallet, apparently. <laughs> this is so what they, CNN can, is reporting. Yeah, so they can see the records on his cell phone, right? 
I wonder, you wonder if they picked up his phone inside that house. We noticed that they brought out a mobile um, cell phone tower device out to the swamp yesterday. So we all kind of wondered what that was about, too. Um, we also found out today that it's now a federal crime, obviously. He's officially wanted, um, you know, as a suspect. So if it comes out that they knew anything about where she was or what, uh, that he committed any type of crime or misled them in any way, um, they could both face 15 years for, for that. Um, can, I, can I cut in there for a second? Yeah, go ahead. Mm-hmm. So I actually just saw this on Def- WFLA News. So he's not a suspect in the murder officially yet. He's a suspect in, and the federal warrant was for the for using credit cards. Basically, card. is what it means. But also a federal crime, also, though. Yeah. Also, they can't get charged as accessories because of Florida law. Parents but cannot this isn't be charged in Florida law, though. Like this is going to be federal. Well, federal when it comes case. to the murder, is what I mean. If if they helped him. They, could, they can't even get charged based on Florida law from WLFA News. So when, when I was talking so about like, like credit cards and stuff like that, what, what, is, what exactly is a Capital Capital One card? Again, for these Canadians that don't know what that is, what's the a, Capital One card? It's a debit card. So it's basically a debit or credit card. In this case, it was her debit card. Um, but that anytime you have money involved, it's federal. So right there, even if they can't get them on murder, now they have got them on a federal charge. So this is looking really bad for the laundry family. I think we're going to see a lot of information come out in the next few days. So even if you use somebody's card and take out ten dollars, you're 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 in serious crap. Yeah. No, it's above it's above, it's above a thousand dollars is the limit to make it a felony. So theft over a thousand is a serious in crime. this circumstance yeah our laws are really complicated and convoluted but yeah it usually ap- d- uh, depends on the amount but yeah, he could go to jail for this mm-hmm. he totally could but his parents so Canada, are that's 5, completely legally speaking no that's not true though because it's gonna even it, it, whatever crime he's implicated in it's gonna be on a federal level which means that they're also going to be playing on a federal level. So any Florida statute isn't going to pertain to this case. Do you see? What, do you know what I mean? Well, but they're not. They're, I mean, they're not going to charge him for federal on federal law for murder. They're going to charge him in Wyoming because that's where the murderer at a state park, which is a federal crime. Well, I don't. Know. I heard he was going to get charged most likely from Wyoming from WLFA. But I mean, they might be wrong. I might be wrong. I'm not sure. I think but... that. I think they're wrong. I've just been watching lawyer, a lot of lawyers, and that's what I'm hearing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, Kai Kai or Brian, you want to take care of that one guy in the chat? Um, oh, what was I going to say now? Oh, yeah, but okay, If is there a way that the coroner would know the exact date that she passed? No, right? Yes. You can get pretty close with like epidemiology with like with bugs and stuff. That's actually how they do it any time after three days. Because well, okay, but so far we don't know the day that she passed. So how yeah, do they know that? Know. Right. So how do they know? Like they must know that mm-hmm. Gabby didn't tell him to go and take out money. Like she might have still been alive. It's yeah, far fetched, but it's possible, right? Well, in, in the well, warrant, it says that after she died, it was unauthorized access. Yeah. And they know that she died so they by know. the 29th. So then she had to have been dead before August 29th. Yeah. Sorry, August yeah. 30th. Mm-hmm. Well, then, yeah, okay. I mean, that makes sense. Also, so if he if does for... get charged... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, Tony Martinez said it was over a thousand. I seen on WFLA missed whose card bit. So, Tony, do you know how much exactly it was or how much more than a thousand it was? Why would he take out so much money? Mm, probably cash is what WLFA. I saw that too. And they didn't even say it was Gabby's yeah. card confirmed. That wasn't in the warrant at all. I saw the, yeah, the arrest warrant. Yeah. It said she was using some card. Although I'm sure but someone's think... going to verify that soon. Right, you think that her. if it was, they had to redact her name, I'm sure, from the um, from the warrant, and that's why it doesn't say her card because 
if it was the parent, like just say for example, like, or maybe it was her dad's card or something, but I don't think so. But like, say if it was his parents' card and he used it illegally, but they said it was okay. Like they can't, I don't think that's going to hold enough water for that kind of a warrant. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It has to be hers. Like that's the only thing that makes sense. Um, and I also saw that the death penalty, they do have it in Wyoming. So like, even if they tr mm -hmm. try him in Wyoming, he still could face a death penalty, but that the state has only held one execution, you know, since 1977. So I don't think that'll really? happen. Uh, Brian C., you saw the message in the uh, private chat there? Brian. Uh, I'm here. Um... Yeah, the message. Just check the private chat there. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay. Um, so, yeah, Tony was saying that they, they don't know the exact amount, but they did say it was above $1,000. Maybe for gas, too. Who knows? Yeah, that but then, was, then, that's what I thought. There's so, also going by this tenant. theory, then, he did come back home, then, I guess. Mm -hmm. so yeah, he by came what you back were talking home. About. We know that he came home. He was spotted on a... Um, a light camp like a toll i don't know if you guys have tolls up there mm -hmm. but like he yeah like yeah, a he got, yeah, yeah. yeah they so they have him pegged like in florida and all the neighbors said that they saw him um and the day that they announced that she was missing um and put out her on like the missing persons list is the day that they left to go camping but then even even now that it's a manhunt, wouldn't they show those videos to the public? Say, you know what, keep an no. eye out for this guy and this is the last time they've seen him or whatever? They probably have enough pictures of him already. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is already pretty out there, so I don't think they need to do anything like that. And they fucked up big time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> big time. They don't want to seen any, that. We haven't seen any video of him. Right? I mean, I mean, if you're besides on... The ones if that you're, if you go on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, you've probably seen a photo or a video of him, right? I mean, no, but I mean, of, of something car. caught by a security camera, not not that something they made. Right. Yeah, they're not releasing evidence to the public at all. Yeah. Yeah. Which is typical. I mean, think about, I don't know if you guys know about like the Josh Duggar case, but they waited like a year before they served a warrant on his place. Um, they'll wait for until they have enough, you know? Yeah, hopefully if all else falls, that you know, all else fails, they can still get him on this charge, which it is a felony still, so. Yeah. Worst case scenario. This gives them something to drag him in and put him in a chair and talk to him about. Well, he'll, he'll just plead the fifth, and there's no difference there. And then he'll just bail out. He won't plead the fifth, I think, if he gets caught in the woods by police. He'll be something, you know, it'll be probably pretty morbid. But if they get him in, he might have a mental break and talk before the lawyer is able to get there. And remember, the lawyer is out of state, too. So uh, Yeah, they actually just drove, the parents just drove three hours to Orlando to meet him today. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> it well, makes another, another lawyer, right? Yeah. Also, all of the all of the Facebook things. There's a video that's 180 thousand views, and it's like, you know, you have to be able to sign into an Instagram to be able to link your account on a Facebook, and it's like this fake account. That's not true at all. So that's oh. not real at all. That footage. And okay. That, and that being yeah. Posted. Do you guys now believe more that he's alive after hearing what we heard today? Um, no. I think he's dead out in those woods because have you seen the footage of them just demolishing this like, and like the epic ir irony of him being a like conservation person and they're just like destroying this beautiful marshland to find him it's pretty wild you really think he's still you really think he's there i think he's out there but i think he's probably dead by now yeah, yeah could, I think they have dogs. I think they, yeah, they probably tracked his scent with dogs out there. Why? Why would they spend so much money looking in that area? Just spend so much time. And I know what you guys said about the money. Like they don't care. I, I get it. But like, the FBI does not want to look stupid. And 
I know they're going to exhaust that lead before they move on to something else. And I don't know where else they would move on to, you know. But the only lead they have is what the parents told them. We don't know that, though. You know what I mean? Because there's so much information. Like you said, they know probably exactly how she was killed and when she was killed. Just because we don't have that information doesn't mean the FBI doesn't have that information, you know? Yeah. You know, there are some reports. They're up near you, Rabbit. Be careful. Yeah, yeah I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, if I didn't go to Canada, like the most like place you could get an extra, like they would extradite him in half a second to the U.S. at that point. He, uh, he, I'm not, I'm not afraid of him being around here. Around here, no way. The um, only way, they, mm. only way I could see him being gone is if he's at, like some people said, on the Appalachia Trail because he's hiked it before. They took a three day camping trip or five day camping trip. You know that's couple days on the road, you drop him off, a couple days back, and you're done. But now, Where that was my theory know? earlier, but now the neighbor says, you know, they saw him, or, or the source says, which could be bullshit, that he left the house, you know, after that. So who knows? Where did he take out the money? What uh, state? Florida. Ooh. He took out the money in Florida? Well, they don't know. Yeah. I thought no, it was Wyoming. Look, listen, it says, um, hold on, I have it right here. I mean, well, it's notes Wyoming. For you guys. It they, don't know, they, don't know whether, they don't know whether he took out money or whether he just used the card. Yeah, but where? You know, in a couple of states Florida, Wyoming. Yeah, in Florida for sure. Because they said one of them was on the 20th, which was like the same day that he was on the toll, which places him here when he used it. So it was at a gas station or something here. Like all the way along the way. That's probably why it was above a thousand. He was probably having to get gas and all that. Or maybe, maybe he's trying to use it to make people think that she was alive. But I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I, I think he was out of his mind, stupid and crazy. No, yeah, he's just, he's an idiot. His parents are doing yeah. all of this. And, and it's, the messed up thing is, you know, if they do charge him on the state level, like I said, you know, they're literally immune from prosecution. Well, okay. I don't, that's not going to happen. But like, but what about like, that uh, comment there? There is no Capital One Bank in uh, Northport. Uh, she so, can have it from another place. It's a place Capital One card. It doesn't matter. Yeah, she can just, she can, she's from Long Island, New York, first off. Okay, well, there goes that. Yeah, what okay. does that mean? There's no Capital One in Northport. <laughs> Yeah. It's an online bank, <laughs> substantially. <laughs> like, like I don't think yeah. there's a Discover in Utah, but, yeah. But good sleuthing, though. That's good to look at like that. Because who knows? You know, it's funny because we've been talking about the last couple of days how you'll see a story from CNN or see one from Fox, and then it turns out, like, you know, they're, the facts are different. And it's like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why are, oh, sorry. Why are they like purposely kind of putting some misinformation out there? There's a weird element to all of it. They're trying to kind of hide some details. So Capital One is basically just a uh, a bank card, right? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure they have real life locations somewhere. Also, so that card was used from the 31st to the 1st. How could he use that in Wyoming on the 31st if it's a 35-hour drive from Wyoming to Florida? How He wasn't back on the 1st unless he can, like, teleport. Right? Shit. Yeah. Wasn't between the 30th and the 1st? The thir well, Are we this sure? One Are you Fox sure it says August 31st to the th Yeah, he said that it was in multiple states, including Wyoming, and that's where they're initially, you know, putting it on there, saying he was in Wyoming. Well, and shit. it's from August 31st to September 1st. How? I mean, I understand, yeah, sure, he's in Florida, but how did he get in, th you know, it takes 35 yeah. hours to get from Grand Teton National Park. Dude, that's a three-day trip, at least. Yeah, Unless you're at nutty. least, at least. Unless you're, like, on, like, you know, a lot and a lot of energy well, drinks manic. or something else. I'm sure. For 35 hours, adrenaline doesn't even last that long. I mean, I don't know. Colin, what do you... Colin is pretty adamant with this uh, Capital One thing. Do you see the comment there? It was a Capital One debit card. No capital banks in this part of Florida. Uh, again, if this what? is just a regular I have a, debit I have card. A capital one, I have a Capital One debit card. 
Don't steal my info, though. But I have a Capital One debit card. <laughs> it, it, I, hmm. there, there's no Capital One bank around here. You just sign up for it online and they send it to you. And they're an easy one to get, too. If anybody wants to try and get a credit card, they're pretty easy. You can have a bank. You can have, like, online banking and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. But just pretty I, I'm sure that thing. if the FBI uh, issued a warrant, they're, they have legitimate information to issue that warrant. Yeah. I watched a couple of legal videos. I, I don't think he's in the country. Damn. At all. What do you make of the trip home to clean out the storage unit in the middle of all this? I'm just, uh, just reading some comments here. I don't think we know anything about that. All the pieces it's haven't weird, been right? put together. I haven't been clear t told us that. At some point, speculation is it's like, you know, we're not the FBI. Although, who knows if we even have it, if any of you were the FBI, right? Who knows? Well, I've, I've, I've asked this before. I'm going to ask it again and to the chat as well. Who believes he really is where the parents said he was for these last, what is it now, nine days? Who really believes that it's a true story? He is there still, and they'll find him there. I and, do, and you guys like, too. I want to say the easiest answer is always, I mean, the path of least resistance when it comes to crime, right? But why Why would there, his parents, of all people, rat him out? They're protecting the guy like, like crazy. They're think, not about to tell the cops, hey, you know what? He's over there. Go get him. No way. No way. They thought he was suicidal, probably, after he didn't come back. I mean, I think we don't know, legally speaking, whether or not the parents um, are officially, you know, clients of Stephen Burton, Bulletin, you know, whatever his last name is. But we do know for a fact they are of him. And so, you know, I don't think that those parents are talking to the police, mm -hmm. considering that they're going to go talk to his lawyer right now, which the question is legally, is that even legitimate? Um, thanks, uh, censored. I do agree with you, though, that, I mean, the parents aren't acting like they think their child is dead, in my opinion, allegedly, you know, they're not acting, they're acting actually like they think he's alive. Um, they're trying to protect his best interest by retaining counsel and just all this. They're not looking for him, like you guys said. Um, uh, Tony, what uh, what CNN woman? I think she's talking about uh about the lady right now talking. She's like, are they serious about that? About what she's saying? <laughs> well, what's CNN woman? Dead serious. Oh, because she mentioned CNN before or something? Perhaps? Yeah, it says, a source close to the family of Brian Laundrie told CNN's Chris Cuomo on Thursday, which is today, that Gabby Petito's fiance, who is now the subject of a federal warrant, left his parents' Florida home last Tuesday with cell phone and wallet. But they're anonymous? That's... Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. That's the hot goss. CNN has like the worst track record of anonymous sources being legit. All right, I'm deleting it. Goodbye. It's gone forever. Oh, I'm we can't, so sorry. We can't. It can't be on the fact board. <laughs> it can't be corroborated. <laughs> good, good. Burn it. Burn uh, it down. Yeah. It's fake news. <laughs> censored. What? What? Uh, where in Canada did you hear this? A possible sighting. Where? Ty, didn't you just say something about that? Hey, you know what yeah. might be in your area? Uh, uh, yeah. It, I, I don't think. What gave you that idea, man? What? What gave you that idea? Me? Yeah. It was a girl that works at an airport, but um, oh, she saw yeah, him outside at a diner, actually, not or at a hotel, not at the airport, and said he was like acting erratically. I think people are seeing stuff. I think they would know if he was in Canada. So, Brian, did you see that, man? <laughs> Great. <laughs> On what? Uh, oh, man. 
It's in your core, Brian. It's in your core. No comment. No comment. Hold up. Let me see. Let me see. I have Here, look at look at look at look at the uh, look at the screen where the, the possible sighting is in. Maybe is that a Tim Hortons, eh? <laughs> well, I don't wow. see this. It's on the screen. Did you see it? Anyways, it says Toronto. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, I I yeah. see it now. Okay. Is it him? Great. <laughs> hey, Brian, Colleen wants to know where is your uh, crickets tonight? Yeah, where's my crickets? Yeah, they're outside. They're plentiful. They're around with the chicadas. <laughs> uh, censored, where where are you from? Are you in Toronto too or what? He knows about uh, Timmy's having the best coffee. Where, where are you from? <clears throat> there is a truth to the rumor. Um, did you ever have um, a country style donuts there in the U.S.? Or is that just a Canadian What's country thing? style? Mm. I guess it's only a Canadian mean? thing. You guys have like your like Dunkin' Donuts and Krispy Kreme, right? No, it's a it's a company like like Dunkin' Donuts or Krispy Kreme. Oh, oh no! And it's called yeah. what? Uh, you, well, they don't have very many left. Country style. Yeah, I've never Country seen that style in my donuts. life. I've never heard of that. <laughs> that it was, sounds good, that was the best <laughs> coffee. That was the best coffee. Who else here drinks black coffee? And it's not a yeah, shame. Yeah, I do. I, drink I, drink I did. Coffee. I did. Yeah. I gave up caffeine completely. You did? How four you years ago. How do you survive? What do you do? Oh, for, oh it, you know what? It, it's uh, Everybody thinks that they can't give it up, but once you do... It, it's like your life is just so much better, like so much more energy, not that fake energy that comes from caffeine. Mm. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Well, what do you do if you stay up late and you're tired and you want to sleep and like you want to be awake? I, yeah, I just stay awake. I just, you know, coffee <laughs> makes you. This guy needs to be a Navy SEAL right now. It's, it's all on. It's all on. He's serious. That to my kid. <laughs> He's a serious. He's a serious. It's, it's all in the head, man. man. It's all in the head. It's just like when you have a headache and you think if you take a Tylenol, it's going to make you better. It's all bullshit. It is all bullshit. I, it does reduce down. pain and swelling, but a lot of it's I don't take effect. any kind of medication whatsoever. The <laughs> only thing I medicate myself with is maybe a little bit of beer here and there and uh, a little bit of nicotine. Oh, the truth Simpson. comes out. Okay, so yeah. he does like the stimulant. Okay, but it's before over. we get back, before we get back to the serious talk, who's with me? That Starbucks absolutely sucks. Yeah, Starbucks hand sucks. is raised. You thank, you. Yep. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There, yeah. the black coffee isn't even black coffee. It's sweetened. The liars. Yeah, the coffee is pretty gross, uh-huh. but their tea is good. I well, I order their food. tea in bulk off of eBay, like from the vendor. And make it at home. What is <laughs> it? Green tea? Or what kind of tea? No, the passion tea. I don't know what that is. It's lemongrass uh, leaves, hibiscus leaves, and cinnamon. It's really good. When you have to pay eight dollars for a cup of coffee, you know you're living bougie. Yeah, that's too much. It is. Um, it's ridiculous. It's so confirmed. Oh, hold on, hold on. Censored. Screw the Leafs and screw the Habs, man. Forza Oilers, buddy. Edmonton Oilers. Let's go. Go ahead. <laughs> that dude's definitely Canadian. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. that, he or she is definitely Canadian. Are we, out, so, are we outnumbered? So is that Joy. That's American. And then we had Miss Melissa yeah. 48 yesterday. Bunch of Canada representing in the house. Dang. You got the Canucks. You better. Well, that's Vancouver, though. Vancouver Canucks. Yeah, I know yeah, no, i I know what you mean. Canadian style. Yeah, Canadian style. You got them, uh, the great white northers up there. You know it, eh? <laughs> yeah, eh? Yeah, eh? My favorite Pretty band still, still from up there, eh? Oh, by They'll the way, never I was die. Tell you yesterday, Brian, you remember when we were talking about the Jerky Boys? 
I love the jerky boys. Do you remember who the tough guy was? was yeah. Was to, put, to put on the phone? Who was it? Oh, uh, his name was, um, well, <clears throat> there was the guy that kind of talked like this, and he's on Family Guy. <laughs> yeah, that, that was Saul. Saul. Yeah. That was Saul Rosenberg. But the tough guy, who was the tough guy? <laughs> hey, listen, jerky. It's Frank. Frank Rizzo. There you go. <laughs> Damn, you're really good at voices. That's crazy. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I'll see you tomorrow with my tools. <laughs> and you know oh, who else I loved? Uh, the other guy. Because, um, you know, uh, Johnny Brennan is the only one that's left. The other guy left. Um, but he played on. Yeah, Kerr Paul. Yeah. And he's like and the one the one call from the very first Jerky Boys records but <laughs> he was like I was playing a tune on my fruit and the, <laughs> the snake hit my eye with the teeth. <laughs> that's my favorite. Damn man, you do a good impression, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, that's funny. Oh, I love that. I, so I don't when know that how guy yesterday went. said, Speak up there, Charlie. That's you know right away. Right away. Do it right away. I love the jerky boys. Yeah. I gotta yeah. check this show out. That sounds cool. Yeah, censored, you seem like you fit right in here. So yeah, stick around, man. And we go from one topic to another. It's pretty pretty crazy. It's all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Do Canadians I'm... cuddle grizzly bears? That's a good question. Do you guys? We wanna live, <laughs> don't we? Is there a lot of grizzly bears, like legit, legit, like everywhere? Like, do they break in? Yeah, and there? there's like, yeah, and there's like so many Eskimos oh, up God. here, and uh, yeah, uh, I, uh, igloos. Yeah, no, there's no grizzly bears, like not even British Columbia. There's there's grizzly bears, but I mean, not like we're like infested no. with them or something. <laughs> like, do you get jacked? Like, are you literally watch outside? You're like, well, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I step out of my igloo, and uh, you know, there's a, a polar Have you bear seen right a beside bear me in Canada. No, I no, no. I've seen like black bears and stuff, but not like shook his hand or anything. No, don't get on that. No, I think you're views. fibbing because I think the Canadians like to uh, wax grizzly bears with maple syrup. I've heard That's that. A good idea. Wax up smart, a bear. <laughs> yeah, them people are tough. They're Seriously. tough up there, man. Waxing Bro, grizzly know bears with. I don't know what kind of porn you watch, man, but we ain't like that, dude. <laughs> Sorry, man. No, we don't go there. Dude, you get so many views if you did that. Yeah, <laughs> no. Uh, he didn't be like, what's going on? Yeah, and then tomorrow morning, I'd be like, what happened to my channel? It's gone. There would not be a tomorrow morning. Yeah. Do you remember that movie, Heavyweights, <laughs> where they, like, they tie the kid to, or the, the counselor to, like, the tree, and then they think a bear came and got him. They, like, spread honey all over him. And they come back and it's a deer. Do you remember that? I remember that movie. You know what movie yeah. I actually watched from the 90s? Do you remember a movie called Bushwhacked with Daniel Stern? Oh, yeah. No, but it sounds horrible. And I definitely want to watch it. Oh, it's one of those like campy 90s, like yes. almost like Man of the House, like with Jonathan Taylor Thomas and Chevy Chase. Was that before or after Home Alone? Before, no? Uh oh, Bushwhacked. I think it was like 1996, maybe. So, or Home Alone was like 90, and Home Alone 2 was 1992. So, it was after that, yeah, yeah, it was after. Oh God. I don't know how do we get to these topics. <laughs> Yeah, I don't okay, know. Okay, so listen. Yeah, so hey, Nikki V. Confirmed. Nikki V said, yeah, Fair Fawcett was his mom in Man in the House. <laughs> do you remember who the mom was in uh, Tommy Boy? I do. <laughs> I'll let everybody else guess first. I knew you would know. Love Tommy Boy. Nobody else knows? No. Do you know who the dad was? I know yeah. the dad, too. He just died Dirk. recently. Yeah, same name, too. Mm -hmm. But apparently, he was a real, uh, like a real dick in real life. Oh, was he? Yeah. There you go, Nikki. You got it. Winner, winner. What did Nikki say? Uh, oh, yeah. Bo, that's right. Bo Derek. Yeah. Oh. And 
and the, the father was, was Brian. Brian. Yep. Brian right. Dennehy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yet another Brian. That. Everybody thinks he died back in the 90s, but he only recently died like two years ago, I think. Yeah, he was a... Uh, yeah, he was all right, I guess. He did a couple of good movies. None that I could remember right now, but besides being the dad and Tommy Boy. Wasn't he... Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. He was in... What was that movie? Trapped in Paradise? He was in Trapped in Paradise. Um he was also in another movie that I watched. I don't know. He's one of those guys that you just don't remember like any famous movie that he's been in. What was that one about? I can't remember now. See? I can't remember what it's about. Never mind what it's called. <laughs> it, was, it was like a movie about basketball. And a really tall African, and Kevin Bacon was in it. Well, not white man can't jump. <laughs> right, not white man can't jump. No, it's not white man can't jump. It, it was called. <laughs> um, it was Kevin Bacon. Uh, and it was like nineteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was a basket. He was a basketball dude. It was like nineteen ninety four, and I cannot remember. Somebody, oh my god, I wish, I'm looking in the chat. I hope somebody reminds me of that. It was Called Kevin Bacon Air and Bud. a really the Air Bud. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, now I can take two of my friends. <laughs> We're gonna um, go see Air Bud. Censor does the oh, that's um, crank yankers. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, that's right. Anchors. You knew that. <laughs> Damn, man. You knew that. I like that comedian. Do you know who he is? You guys like Adam Carolla I do. or what? You fuck with Adam I like Carolla? Adam. Do you have the, oh, Joy <laughs> just said it. The <laughs> air what? up there. The air up there. That's the one I was thinking of. Joy said it. It's the air up there. That's what it's called. Oh, we got a smart crowd tonight. Yeah, we do. We're going to come on here. And it's going to be what? Who? Holy who? shit. Is, does, is the Oilers, right? does the Oilers fan like CFL by chance? Talk about the CFL. We can't because there's a whole bunch of Americans on this thing, so they won't have any idea what we're talking about. But yeah, I like the CFL. I like the uh, Hamilton Tiger Cats, so I don't care about the Argos. I'm not a Toronto fan as far as sports goes. Um, but yeah, the air up there. That's what it was called. Oh my God. I cannot believe somebody remembered that. That's really good. I'm telling you, man. Chat's, chat's where it's at. I'm telling you, that's crazy. That sounds like a horribly good movie. It, yeah, it's one of those, yeah, like really campy, like 1990s. And I call everything from the 1990s campy now. So do you remember that character in Crank Yankers, what he was called, and then who the comedian is that played him? Um, so I think his <laughs> name was called Special Ed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I believe that uh, it was Jim Florentine. Is that right? There you go. Yes, buddy. You got it. Yeah. I want to go see Air Bud. <laughs> I, love, I love Jim Florentine. One of my favorite characters on there on Crank Anchors was Tracy Morgan playing uh, Spoonie Love. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> That was a good show. What was that? Only like four seasons or something? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it wasn't. It didn't last very long. No, Comedy Central. Is it still on? I don't, <clears throat> I don't think so. I don't no. know. No. Um, how did the four of you meet? Some of you guys are not Canadian. No, we just have people calling in. I, I've known. Um, okay, because you can't see the names on the screen, I don't think. But the rabbit one is obviously me. Brian is the one on the bottom left, and he's the one that I've I've known for a very long time. And mm. the two on the right side, I guess it's on the screen, um, they call in anytime. Uh, Ty has been calling in quite a few times. And the one on the top right, even though it's all black, she's called in since yesterday. So um, let me put the link up. And if you want to call in, there is a, a link in the pinned comment at the top. 
you just click it and then you'll be able to chat with us and uh, yeah, ramble on that way. It's a lot easier. But if you don't want to, just keep on chatting in the chat. That's cool too. Yeah, yeah we see I it. like it. I appreciate it when you guys read it out loud because I can't see it. Oh yeah, that's why I told Ty yesterday because some people even in the chat aren't aren't really like looking at it, right? So it just yeah. helps everybody out figure out what we're talking about. Or as you guys think, we say a boot, which we don't say a boot. All right. Close to it, though. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I just said a boot. How does that sound like a boot? <laughs> <laughs> What's the so biggest just, you get your boyfriend about Canada. out of your ear for once, man? <laughs> what? What's like the biggest misconception you think Americans get about Canada? You guys always think that it was so cold up there. There's nothing there. It's all like empty country and all that stuff. Yeah. You guys always say it's cold. It's not cold? Well, I mean, in the winter time, but I mean, it's not like Russia or something. Shit, What's it's it? cold here in the winter time. It gets like 10 degrees here. And I'm what, in Pennsylvania. What's the warmest you guys have seen it. The warmest? Well, we have uh, Celsius, so the, even in the summertime, we got 35 degrees Celsius. It's hot. Hmm. But again, it depends so, on part of Canada, too. Like, if you go to Alberta in the wintertime, you're looking at, like, minus 50 Celsius. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. That's, the, that's the worst part. That's the worst place you can go. Wow. Oh, my that is God. So, it's too bad everyone doesn't crazy. use Celsius. It's, like, way better. It's like what more is efficient. Celsius. It's like this makes yeah, sense. I think so. it's like, what does Fahrenheit mean? Really? Like Celsius is like 10 degrees, 10 degrees, 10 <laughs> degrees. But Fahrenheit is this. We're Americans. We get to use the wrong method. Yeah, but see, even when uh, what Jay was saying, when someone says sorry, you can tell who's from Canada. I remember when, when I went to Italy, so many times they would ask you, like, you know, where are you from or whatever. If you say you're from Canada, man, they'll like, open their arms up to you big time and give you like espresso, cappuccino, whatever you want. You say you're American, they'll tell you about fanculo, which basically means go F yourself. You know? yeah. so, <laughs> oh no, I'm Canadian. I'm Canadian. Brian knows what I'm talking anywhere. about. Brian knows what I'm oh, talking about. Oh, I do. I do. Instead of like claiming to be a Canadian, I'll like wear like a beanie, like in the middle of like the summer the heat in Italy. <laughs> And it'll be the Canadian flag, and they'll just know. <laughs> they won't even ask. It's come up a to me. I'll just really have a giant jug, and I'll pour the espresso shots into it. Yo, dude, we don't <laughs> wear beanies. We're not Jewish. We're Canadian. We wear toques, man. <laughs> Do you just say that? You, you wear toques, eh? <laughs> yeah, we wear toques, guy. <laughs> I don't think the Jewish people wear beanies. What are they called? <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh I don't know. I can Google it though. Yamakas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wear a beanie. Look, it was just over the summer. It was a hundred and five degrees here, and I had a beanie on because my hair is so damn long now because I refuse to go to a barber shop. Uh, so what was the last time you cut your hair? I, 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 I don't trust anybody around my head. No. So when? So when was the last time you cut your hair? <laughs> Oh, when was the last time? Over a year and a half ago. You just said you don't trust anybody around your head. So Correct. what's that got to do with COVID? No, it just, I don't trust I anybody around my that. head with scissors. Fair so, enough. And shears. So, no, I'm just going to take a straight, I'm just going to take like a, a meat cleaver and just like, you know, cut and slice it all off. <laughs> That's a good look. And then don't forget the beanie on top of that, eh? Yeah. Eh? Just do like um just get like a bowl and give yourself a bowl cut. <laughs> I'm telling you, my hair is so long, I can put it now in a ponytail. It's crazy. Man, now I'm trying to figure out what that what is a beanie then? I thought the beanie was a thing that they put on their head. The Jewish people. It is. It's not a Jew it's just a thing you buy at the mall, you know, it's a beanie. A beanie is like a ski cap without the face plate. Yes. Sorry. Thank you. It's basically <laughs> just a cap. So is it like the one that Meg wears in uh, Family Guy? Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
exactly. Ah, okay. It just covers like your head. Okay. It's oh, no um, two censored. Let me just uh, let me. I know. Censored. Let me just uh, tell you now. We're not going to discuss politics in this channel because it usually ends up in like massive arguments. So, um, yeah, we kind of stray from that. Yeah, yeah federal bank fraud accessories PPP after the fact for federal murder. That's my prediction. And what we do know confirmed September 1st via tolls at 10.26 a.m. on the 75. So he was on I-75 down here in Florida on the morning of September 1st. Whoa. Is there a possibility that it wasn't him that used the card? How do they know it was him that used the card? By the security camera then, right? Probably, mm -hmm. yeah. There's also some stuff about him being in Alabama or something, but I don't know if that's true either. I mean, if they served him, if they have a warrant, if a judge signed that warrant, they have proof. Well, yeah, they have to have pretty hardcore evidence to get a warrant. I mean, it's not as high as like to get someone yeah. convicted, but it's it's still up there. Yeah. Who wants to see Brian yeah. Laundry go to jail? Well, I mean, gotta catch him first. Why? Is he Nobody? just gonna get a bunch of like fangirls like Chris Watts? Oh my gosh. Okay, I thought you guys wanted to set him free for a minute, and then I remembered. No. <laughs> no. Why don't Why don't uh, Why don't you ask who wants to see his parents go to jail? Mm. They're yeah, just as guilty. I do. Everybody wants to see his parents go to jail, but I mean, they won't. They know better, dude. They're old enough to know better, and I I know he is too, and like he should totally be held accountable for how horrible he is definitely but at the same time i mean also it's true that he's young and i'm not making that as an excuse i'm just saying his parents are way too old to know like they know what they're doing you know what i mean like just despicable behavior so you think they yeah, should go to jail and he shouldn't go to jail no, I think they should all go to jail. Agreed. I just, oh, man. Um, censored, censored jail. seems to think we need, we still need more proof. Did you see that one, Ty? You want to read that one and answer that one? Yeah. What did his parents <laughs> do? We still don't know if they did anything to help him. Well, that's true. But even if they did, under Florida law, he, they can't be charged as accomplices for a crime that's already been uh, committed. So they can't go to jail regardless. Like literally, but, but we don't that, know who did it. But that only pertains to like. Okay. How like, do we I know where the parents true. were at this time when it happened? Well, they said it on WLFA. I know, but, they didn't, but, but they're not lawyers, they, and I'm just saying. But hold, hold on, hold on. Gabby, Gabby called her mom on the 25th of August, right? Uh mm huh. -hmm. Mm. Did did Brian ever call his parents? Is there any records of Brian calling his parents while he was gone? We Who don't knows? know that the FBI probably knows. That'll be it's going to be so interesting once all these documents get released to kind of like piece together the timeline of what happened. So we don't even know that the the parents might also be involved in in what happened to her. They could have been up there just as easy, right? There's no proof that they were at home the whole time. Yeah. You, you guys see CC said? He said breaking news. MSN. Yeah, I know. Don't, don't read it. Don't it read it. It almost got it. me, bro. It's it because, yeah, as soon as I read the bottom one, it's <laughs> like. I was like, dude. <laughs> that would be so cool if they found him. I'd be so hyped. I'd do like a happy dance. I might even turn on my camera and be like, hey. Yeah, like every day when they start the search, like thing i have to watch i like watch the live stream all day while i'm working because i just think like i'm so invested in it at this point if he gets caught and i'm not watching i'm gonna be so mad at myself perth australia yeah straight up do you watch wfla or what do you watch which stream yeah i watch i watch that and then there's another um some crime junkie channel that it's a woman who True crime she with Natasha Cooper. 
Is that her? Okay, yeah. So she'll stream WFLA and a couple other things too. Like, mm -hmm. and yeah. And then I go on Twitter and I just update, update, update every freaking 30 seconds his name. You got to check out, yeah, Brian Enton. Yeah, he's pretty big on that. Oh, man. He, he's he's right there all, all, yeah. all, all day and all night. Also, did you guys hear about the $20,000 reward? There's like a law firm offering. That helps him get uh, yeah yeah get caught That's from what cool. uh, what state? It's a it's a woman I think, lawyer, I think, here in Florida. Yeah, Florida. I don't know the specifics. Um, I it, it was funny today because when they went over to the attorney, um, <laughs> everybody was speculating that it was the same attorney as Casey Anthony. Because it was like <clears throat> two miles from the office of K Casey Anthony's attorney. Uh, what's his name? Garcia. That's pretty close, so, though. It is. Yeah, it's crazy. But the their lawyer made a statement saying that he was meeting with them. So, I mean. So what happened to their previous lawyer? Wasn't he in New York or something? Long Island? No, I think <laughs> that it, I think that's him. I think he flew down to Orlando. Oh, so it's the same guy is the deal yeah okay which makes you wonder at this point with the fbi involved are you really keeping a small town lawyer or do they have more money than we understand them to have or more connections um it makes you wonder just maybe there's mafia connections there uh they have a really successful business up in new york so but again, the even the parents look just as as much of a tool as as their son. At least to me, anyways. I saw them today getting in and out of the car, and they just don't look that bright. Yeah. Well, someone has to be bright for him not to get caught right now for this many days. Someone has to be know what they're doing. Or bold. Really well, how bold. bright is it? You I can mean, tell the guys... cops to go look one place, and you send them another place. Well, that's not bright. That's just. Stupid. I mean, you just tell them to go somewhere because that's where he is. Yeah. They'll all go there, but obviously he's in the other direction. That's not right. What is it with the police that, just well, listening that's to, why... to, to the, the family for the whole time and just trusting everything they say? Like, do they not have because that's all they got to go by? No, uh, what else so are they going to go by? Though. They don't. They don't verify anything. They just go in. That's why I think he is in that swamp because. They obviously have the cam footage from him coming all the way here to Florida. They've got all of that. There's no way that they don't. And with the tolls and everything. And then they have all the neighbor accounts long before we did. There's a reason that they're out there. You know what I mean? Like this guy would have to have pre-planned all of this if he is somewhere in Mexico or something. Which, I mean, it's possible if so, that's really fucking crazy. It's going to be crazy. What sucks is that, like, what if he got eaten by gators and we never find out? We just never know. That would suck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, Brian. Did you see? Look at this. Look at this comment. Did you ever have it, by the way, Brian, the second thing? Uh, which one? Canadian bacon. Have I ever had Canadian bacon? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that just ham? Or, or or have I seen the movie? No, no, actual Canadian bacon. <laughs> oh, oh no, no. Canadian football and Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon is just ham. Yeah. Canadian bacon is dope, man. It's it's amazing. We like only maple eat leaf. ham on Easter. Mm -hmm. in no, it's America. not ham. It's, Canadian, it's bacon. It's not ham. Ham is not as good. Bacon is amazing, especially crispy bacon. Oh yeah, Colleen, where are you from? You but must do, you, be do you have like regular bacon? Yeah, we have back bacon. You have Canadian. Do you have bacon. regular? Okay. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah, because it's, it's all from the same hog. Dude, yeah, you don't think good. regular bacon? <laughs> huh? I'm saying you don't think regular bacon is as good as Canadian bacon. Oh, definitely not. Canadian bacon is amazing. You haven't you haven't had my bacon. I make my <laughs> bacon in a broiler 
Bro, well, that pepper. sounded like way offline. You know what I'm Make sure you clarify what you're talking about as far as when you mentioned your bacon. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm saying I cook mine in a broiler and I make mine nice and crispy with some pepper, with some paprika, with some garlic. I spice my bacon. That's mm. awesome, man. When you can a good set of bacon. And I even, I even make candy bacon, which is brown sugar, a little bit of maple okay. syrup, make it sweet but savory at the same time. <laughs> Turkey bacon, yeah. I never even I heard love of to it. cook. You know that. Yeah, I know. Did you ever I'd have turkey that? bacon? Mama Gamer is saying turkey bacon is better. That sounds good. Tastes that, like band You guys are making me hungry. <laughs> I, never, I never tried turkey bacon. Turkey, turkey bacon tastes like band aids. Oh my Are god! <laughs> hey, Bri. Yeah. Yo, I, I bet you my bacon tastes better than yours. You think? I know so, man. How do you cook yours? <laughs> oh, you mean that bacon? No, sorry, I was talking about it. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. We're just going. <laughs> <laughs> I know my bacon <laughs> is better than yours, bro. <laughs> okay. In the words, in the words of Vizzini in the Princess Bride, you like to think that, wouldn't you, <laughs> bro? When you know it, you know it. All right. Inconceivable. Um, <laughs> Uh, censored trending rabbit best place and what's for the, what's the famous line buried. from that even though you're not even though you're not but i am what what did you ask me from from yeah from that movie what's what's seen his famous line even though you're not what i am even though i'm not what you are I, I wouldn't know because I, yeah, I don't yeah. remember the movie and I don't remember any gay reference, so I don't know. He says, <laughs> <laughs> never go in against the Cethelian when death is on the line. Oh, oh I don't even remember that, man. How did we get here? You don't, do you don't remember, remember that? No. I seen the movie like a long time ago. You've, and only have one. you ever seen The Princess Bride? Yeah, one time. Dude, I watch. I'm, oh I, my I god, you're like, gonna go back and watch it? Yeah, I guess so. But the movies <laughs> you recommended to me before, I mean, I didn't really quite fancy. You know, you mentioned to me like Fifty Shades of Grey, Brokeback Mountain. I'm like, dude, enough of it. The Crying Game. <laughs> I'm like, yo, man, let's move on from this stuff. Let's get on to some more crying more game. Oh my more macho god! Movies, you know what I mean? <laughs> we're busting, we're are, busting are, into any, the world over here. are any of you guys excited about Scream Five or what? Um, I'm no, more excited. I've for never Halloween even seen the first Scream. <laughs> more excited for Halloween Kills next month. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready for Halloween Kills. It's the second last one. Eh? I really liked the last Halloween. Yeah. I really liked that. The last one. There was a direct sequel to the first one. Yeah, <clears throat> it was good. Hey, sorry to interrupt. I actually got to go, but it was nice talking to you guys. Talk. All right, time, man. We'll see you again, all right? Yeah, see you later, man. Take care, bro. Um, yeah, Halloween. There's only two left now. It's um, Halloween Kills, and then next year is going to be Halloween Ends. I think my connection is shit. Hang on. Yeah. Your favorite darkness, Rab, is just so macho. No, I just know my bacon's better than Brian's, that's all. <laughs> yeah, I got to go to bed too, guys. I got work in the morning, but... Uh, work calls. Oh, well. eh? Yep. I will talk to you guys All later. Right.
Good luck. All right. Take it easy, huh? Yeah, you too. All right. Nice talking to you again. Yeah. Hey, and if you, um, if anybody, I found you on Instagram today and added you. So if anybody from here or even listening to this messages me on Instagram, make sure you put that you're from Rabbit's stream. And so I can make sure to like read your message and reply because I get a stupid yeah, give a, message. Give a shout out there. to your, um, give a shout out to your Instagram again. Oh yeah. So it's at um, Cassandra explains it all on Instagram. You find me over there. All right, cool. Cool. All right. I'll, I'll talk to you. I'll talk at you soon. All right. Take it easy. So, Bri. Yeah. Hey, man. It's down to me and you once again, my friend. And that's the best. Yeah. Cozy, comfy. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the way it goes. But not in that kind of way. You know what I mean? No homo, right? That No homo. It's just, <laughs> you know, kind of like. <laughs> but hey, you know, they yeah. said rabbit's macho. I know your real name <laughs> so what it doesn't matter it does it does because nobody else knows it but i know it but as long as they know i got the real bacon they're all happy inside <laughs> you, know I mean? you um, know what what's kind of funny remember, is that uh, i will never ever divulge it ever divulge my bacon no you'll never do that bro <laughs> i know my name my name i know um, I'll never know your real name. Your like actual like real name. I'll never divulge it ever. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Even though you all know my real name, but I don't give a shit because you know anybody can do any anything they want to me. No, yeah, but then again, they don't know your last name. You, ch I think you changed it though, didn't you? Just put the initial now. Didn't you have it before where it was a full name? It was my full last name. Yeah, until you know, psycho. Yeah, uh, that was kind of risky. Yeah, uh, with that thing. And somebody just ratted him out. He's gone. He'll be back. Um, can you post a link to, oh, to her uh, Instagram? I, I don't remember what it is, but I think it was Cassandra. Some, Brian knows what it is. Once he, when he comes back, I'll tell him to, uh, to say it so you can uh, write it down. He's back. Hold on. Hey, Brian. I'm sorry, man. That, my no, Wi Fi is like being all messed up. I kind of figured. Um, Censored was asking if you can post a link to the Instagram. Do you remember what her Instagram handle is again? Uh, Cassandra, Cass Cassandra explains it all. It's a pun on Clarissa explains it all. Yeah, it's that's Cassandra. It. Yeah, Cassandra explains it all. Yeah. Uh, there's the other Brian. Good evening, bud. How's it going? And the gamer's having a laugh. She's talking about Bacon Bob. Cassandra explains. Yeah, Cassandra explains it all, Mama Gamer. Mama Gamer, yeah. where are you? Are you in uh, Canada or States? We should have a poll. Should, maybe tomorrow I'll put up a poll. Who's from Canada? Who's from the States? You should. There's quite, a few, there's quite a few Canadians tonight. Yeah, yeah, I see that. <clears throat> That's awesome. But, um, yeah, we'll go on for maybe another five minutes or so. Oh, she's from the deep south, Texas. <clears throat> Texas. And so I guess, yeah, that was the last breaking news from today. Um, if any, Dude, you're, just... you're having technical difficulty today. I was just sitting there asking you a question. I didn't realize I was on mute. Oh, what's up? I saw a segment today, and I've seen it before. I want to know if you've seen it. It's from SCTV, mm -hmm. hosted by Eugene Levy. It's called Half Wits. <laughs> Do you remember Half Wits? It's a game show? The game show, yeah. I, I, I remember hearing of it. I don't quite remember. Was it 80s? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's from SCTV. It was like a like a. Uh, oh, a skit. It was a skit. Uh, I'll send you the link. Yeah, I got to check it out. It'll be on YouTube for sure. It was Joe Flaherty. Uh, Eugene Levy hosted it. It was uh, John Candy and um, another great Canadian, Martin Short. They were all good. 
I love. I wonder what ever happened to uh, Andrea Mark. Oh, I think she was on that segment too. That's right. Was she? The blonde, the blonde chick, right? No, that's uh, Catherine O'Hara. No, no, it wasn't Catherine O'Hara. I know she was on that, and she uh, Andrea was Martin the mother. Had the hell was her name? Hold up, I'm gonna have to look that up. CTV. Uh, let's see. Cassandra explains it all. Says national security expert ex- expects Brian Laundrie's parents to be summoned to the grand jury momentarily by CNBC. Wow. Whether that's true or not is yet to be seen. But Mama thanks you. <clears throat> The only two women I remember from that was Andrea Martin and Catherine O'Hara. I think it was uh, Judith Kahn, maybe. Maybe she was like a couple seasons. A couple seasons. Is is Catherine O'Hara Canadian though? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she was another one to add to the list. Oh wow, I had no idea. Mm-hmm. A bunch of no. them. Huh? Yeah, because I, you know, I. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I know Catherine O'Hara from uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas, obviously, but more so uh, The Mother and Home Alone and Beetlejuice. One show I never watched that got a lot of accolades is uh, Schitt's Creek. I've never seen that, but she's on that, and so does Eugene Levy. And his son in real life. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Dan, I think it's Dan Levy. Oh, wow, that's his son? Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen that. But uh, yeah, I ran for uh, six seasons. I think it just ended. But yeah, six six seasons. There's also a good uh, show if you like Canadian shows. Uh, Kim's Convenience. I don't know if you ever heard of it. I feel like I've heard that. It's like it's I feel about, like I've uh, heard the name, but I've never seen it. Yeah, Kim. Kim is the the name of the the, the owner and convenience because they own a convenience store. It's Koreans that own the store. It's just really funny. Oh, okay. Okay. It takes place in downtown Toronto, but that also ran for six seasons. Wow. Nice. But what was the name of that lady you said on uh, SCTV? Uh, I don't know. I've never heard of her. um, Hold up. Let me see. It was like, it was Judith, Judith, somebody. Uh, Let me look. <clears throat> and you know who else I forgot was on SCTV it was Harold Ramis. Oh yeah, yeah, right from the beginning. Yeah, there, I was, know, also, I know. there was also a guy that uh, played an Italian guy. Oh man, he was like a like a chef. Hey, oh, uh, do you remember? Was it Tony yeah, he, something or oh, Jesus? I don't remember now. He was in the Wedding Singer too. The, the, the guy from CTV? Wasn't it Robert Smigel? No. No, I know that. That's uh, He's done a lot of SNL cartoons, too. But no. Mm-hmm. Um, well, let me check right now. I think it's Tony something. Tony Rosado. That, that was his name. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he did I Sunrise Semester, communicating in Italian. He did Cooking with Marcello. He did yeah, a lot. Of I remember that. That was funny. Yeah, Tony Rosato. I remember that. Yeah, I think he did a few uh, episodes of uh, SNL too. I can't remember this chick's name. I'm still trying to remember this. Uh, Tony, no, he wasn't. Was Tony Rosato Father Guido Sarducci? No, no, no that, that was a guy in SNL. That was another guy. Yeah, that was um, Don somebody. Yeah, that was in the 70s. Yeah, it was. I'm going to have to think of that lady's name because I saw it. There weren't too many females on that show, but... No, that's why I only remember the two of them, O'Hara and Martin. But you remember uh, Andrea Martin, right? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. But this other one that you're talking about, maybe she must have been in it for a couple seasons or something. 
Uh, she may have been a guest. I'm, I'm trying to think of who she was. Oh, it, no, it was Andrea Martin. That is the one. Okay, I just looked up her picture. That is her. So she's but wearing she's a not... wig or something. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because she has that, that smile. Uh, she's actually from Portland, Maine. I didn't know that. Was well, she? That I didn't know. She's not actually Canadian. Well, there you but go. it is her. She's the one. I'm going to send you the clip, man. It's so funny. It is so funny. There's so many good clips of the CTV. Martin Short is my favorite. Isn't that where Ed Grimley came from? Yep. Yeah. That's where he was. Yeah, man. That is just <sighs> so and many good. You saw the Happy Wonders? Um, no, I don't think I did. The the one with the uh, I told you they're not they're not Polish they're uh, Lithuanian. Yash oh, and Stan you sent you sent me the names. Yes. Oh, so funny. It was it, and they modeled like two wild and crazy guys after that. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it because it looks so similar. Yeah, and that was Dan Aykroyd and who? Belushi. Yeah. No, uh, oh. Martin. Martin. Steve Martin. Steve Martin. That's right. That's right. Yeah, the other ones were the uh, the Blues Brothers. Belushi. Yeah, that's right. That was Belushi okay. and Ackroyd. Yeah. Now Ackroyd is Canadian too. Yeah, from Kingston, actually, from the home of uh, Tragically Hip. Yeah, that's right. You told me about that band. Yep, because I remember. I think it was nineteen. Oh, I don't remember the year, but I know that Dan Ackroyd was actually hosting SNL, and the Tragically Hip were the musical guest. Oh, wow. So when he introduced the hip, uh, he was wearing this big Canadian shirt. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. Now, I know where you're from, but when did you move to Canada? When I was young. Like, how old were you? Well, I went back and forth, but um, from, from five and then <clears throat> stayed here for a while and then went back and then came back again. <laughs> Oh, but okay. um, there was a few times, like even during school, I went for like half a year, and then like grade five, they uh, failed me from grade five because I wasn't in school long enough because I was in Italy most of the time, so I had to do grade five again for that reason. But um, yeah, back and forth, really. But your parents are from there. They were both born in Italy. They both were. Yeah. Gotcha. But they speak gotcha. like perfect English. Are they still living? Uh, yeah. yeah. Do they live in Canada or over there? Here. Nice, man. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Are they close? My, my parents? Mm -hmm. uh, I got divorced in 2009. Oh, no, no, no. I'm saying are they close to you? Like vicinity-wise? Um, <clears throat> my mom is. Oh, okay. I've, I've always been closer to her than uh, to my dad, so yeah, it worked out pretty good. That's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah, like like you were saying, your dad's a five five hour drive away, right? Yeah, he is. Yeah, <laughs> my mom is about mm, ten minutes. Oh, so yeah, so you're close to your mom too. Look at that. Yeah, I yeah, never see that in common. Mm -hmm. Even though my mom lives ten minutes away, I, I see her like maybe once every two or three months. Oh, not so often. Yeah, well, you know they're good CNNers, so uh, you know oh. they mm -hmm. they love the the COVID shit. Oh yeah, it it tore up a lot of people, man. <sighs> yeah, it has. It really has. It's made me oh. a hermit. Maybe that's why I look like Grizzly Adams now. <laughs> but in your in your profile photo there, you got it looks like you have short hair, but you could be because of your combed it back. No, I don't know. I had I that's how I always keep my hair. But oh, is that? You know, so you can't really yeah. tell from that that you have long hair. Yeah, no, yeah. no. I, I always kept my hair that short. Uh it's only recently, you know, within the past year and a half that uh, you know, I it grew long. Ah, uh, okay. 
Cassandra so, uh, explains it all. Says, I'm lucky. My dad lives three minutes away and does all my laundry. Yeah, lucky you, Cassandra. Then how about I throw you my laundry and you can do it for me as a bonus? Mine too. Mine too. And send us your address in a, in a private message, okay? Please. We'll get it right out here. I hate laundry. <laughs> and don't spin the ass. Yeah, it is. Okay, so what do you what do you hate more? Uh, doing the laundry or shaving? I friggin' hate shaving. Oh, dude. I don't, oh, if you saw my beard now... I mean, my beard is, I hate shaving. I hate it. So once again, longer than the photo. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, oh, way yeah, longer. Yeah. Mm. It's almost, it's not quite ZZ Top, but it's getting there. <laughs> <laughs> One of them died the other, uh, about a month ago, no? Yeah, Dusty Hill. He did, yeah. the bass player. Yeah, he just And did. the uh, drummer for the Stones. Mm-hmm. Charlie Watts, yeah, he died too. Charlie Watts. Uh, yeah, it's a shame, man. Because all these people we grew up with are like dying off. Yeah, I know. I know. That was I a mean, couple of definitely... years ago. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say, do you remember um, Mitch Heb Hedberg? Yeah. Oh, yes. He was hilarious. Yeah, I love that kind of sarcasm. Yep. yep. Um, okay, what were we gonna say? Oh, I was going to say, uh, well, two things, actually. One is that, um, you know, again, all these, you know, icons from, you know, the 60s and 70s are now dying right. off because they're, they're in their 80s and 90s. Uh, Rick Wright from Pink Floyd, it was a few mm. years ago he died, but, you know, that's pretty sad. But then the other thing, too, was that, uh, what, what was I just thinking about? Uh, damn it! I just lost my thought. Oh, yeah, just came back. Phil Collins. Sorry. Have you seen him? What lately? Yeah. yeah. No why? Uh, dude, he he cannot play drums anymore. He can't even stand on stage and sing. So he got back together with Tony Banks and Mike Rutherford to, you know, do a like a quote unquote Genesis tour. And yeah. he can't even stand up and sing anymore. What's wrong with him? Just from beating on those drums for so long. But well, wasn't uh, Genesis really uh, Peter Gabriel? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, that's my favorite. Yeah, that is too. my favorite iteration of Genesis was with Peter Gabriel singing. Um, me too. That, I love it. My Peter favorite Gabriel song. Solo is good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, my favorite Genesis song ever was from 1973 off the Foxtrot album called Supper's Ready. My favorite ever. Well, I got to check it out. I don't know it. Oh. It's 23 minutes long, but it is effing amazing. Really? That long? Dude, gotta check it out, man. It is a journey. It is worth it. One of the greatest, actually, probably in my opinion, the greatest Genesis song ever. Well then, it's a must listen to then. You have to. You have to. Put it down on the list. I, well, I'll I'll uh, I'll send it to you. Um, but that's where my Instagram handle, the Guard of Magog, comes from. It was from that song. Oh, okay. And uh, you see on the screen what uh, Stephen says. What do you say? Said uh, supper's ready. Live version, really good. Oh, the live version. Okay. So I have to agree. So Peter Gabriel is an amazing vocalist and he originally oh. sang Supper's Ready, but he is a very like almost punk rock type singer. You know how Peter Gabriel sings. Yeah. yeah. So when Peter Gabriel left, Genesis put out a live album singing with Phil Collins singing Peter Gabriel songs. And 
the live version on Second Sound from 1977 is epic. And you must listen to that too because it's Phil Collins singing all of Peter Gabriel's parts. Dude, gives you goosebumps. Goosebumps. Man, gotta check it out. It's crazy, man. I'll send you both. It's incredible. Yeah, you're welcome. Why not? If you're giving me the word, then I gotta, I gotta see it. You have to. It's so good. It's so good, man. And the best section uh, from Supper's Ready is called Apocalypse and Nine Eight, and they play this crazy time signature where they fit eight beats. Or, or I'm sorry, they fit nine beats into where eight beats should. Dude, the musicianship, it, dude, it's incredible, man. Incredible. Yeah. Steven, Steven says, uh, Seconds Out Classic Album. What did he say? He said, Seconds Out Classic Album. Oh, dude, it's so good. It's so good because it's like, you know, the 70s, later 70s Genesis songs, you know, that are Phil Collins. But again, he also sings the musical box that Peter Gabriel sang. Mm. Um, which uh, the musical box is another fantastic song or yeah that's called the musical box um he sings the lamb lies down on broadway which is another classic you know peter gabriel song but you know phil collins just puts his twist on it man it's so yeah. good it's so good well if um steven if you have a chance call in tomorrow I'll go, i'm gonna go back live again tomorrow night at 11 eastern so if you have time call in man you can talk about this kind of stuff especially with brian he's into all this so yeah you're more than welcome to call in and talk about it i mean you can see we jump all over the map anyways we don't have to always stick to one uh, one topic refreshing change talk about different things but um absolutely yeah man for sure um i might do a live tomorrow afternoon i don't know it depends if there's any breaking news or whatever we'll go on live see what happens but um, I guess for tonight, we'll just call it a night. It's already like 1230. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get up. I'm looking at wedding venues tomorrow. So, oh yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. You know, I'm if your money go saved up room. now, you're gonna, you're gonna need it. It's not mine. <laughs> well, can you, man. I'm not paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> lucky. I'm not paying for it. Yeah, I am lucky. Uh, uh. <laughs> Are All right, you, so uh, uh, oh, I was gonna say, are you and uh, a certain other chick with CC as the initials gonna tie the knot? Well, I eventually, once uh, once her school is done and everything, I want her just to focus on school right now because I mean, she's like right into it and stuff, and I don't want her to get distracted by me in any way, so um, I'm just gonna let her finish that first, and then of course, yeah, like it's 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 in the wings. No doubt about so it. So you are. So you are going to do it. Yeah, of course. Oh, that's awesome, man. I mean, come on, man. You can't be with somebody for so long and then just at the end say, you know. Uh, how long is it this way? Uh, now it's been two and a half years. Wow. Wow. Now, I know your age. I won't huh. divulge it. But w w uh, with yours, minus or... Uh -huh. What like what's what's her age without telling me? What the, the age? Her age. How about right? without telling you? Oh, I, I know what I can tell you. Hold on, because there's only me and you here. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Because I, I, I know how. I hope you don't freak about it, but there you go. Uh, I'm I'm, gonna see that. I'm you know gonna mine, see. right? Uh, yeah, I know yours. Yeah, okay. Oh, that that's hers. Yeah. Damn, dude. <laughs> I told you you were gonna freak. That's amazing. <laughs> well, you're actually giving me props for that. Thanks, man. <laughs> of course, I give you props for everything, brother, man. I know. I'm surprised, man. I don't know. You're so easy going with me. I don't understand yeah, it. So are you. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I mean, yeah, we hit it off right from day one. I think. Day one, yeah, because I came in on your stuff about uh, TD. Mm -hmm. I won't say her name. Um, 
but uh yeah i came in man i came in on the ground floor man and i appreciate you every day you know including me in this so i do awesome man and, and again i mean like i said we, we 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 hit it off right from day one and so many things in common it was unbelievable yeah, so many things man so many things that's crazy uh, uh. He censored. Uh, how'd you know she's 23? No, she's not 23, smartass. <laughs> she's 23 as much as I'm 83, all right? Oh, to be 23. Yeah, really. I'll be, well, I, I, I'll divulge my age. I'll, I'll be 37 in two coming up. Weeks. Yep, it's coming up and fast, two, man. Yeah, man. Isn't that crazy? Time stops for no one. Right? I mean, I was born in 1984, man. And if I think about even from 1984 to 1994, when I was 10, this yeah. whole world's completely changed. <laughs> I know. I know. It's crazy. Yeah, okay, censored. I'm 23. Yeah, I really sound like a 23-year-old punk. He is 23. How'd, how'd censored guess? That I'm 23? Right. Yeah. <laughs> 22, yo. What are you talking about, censored? <laughs> Don't be rude, man. Hey, look. All you have to do, see, these people out here, again, I've told you this before. So what? many people like to make their age 10 years younger than what they are. So I would say I'm 27. And they go, oh, you look so old for 27. But if you make your age 10 years older than what you are, that's the secret. So if I okay. say I'm 47, yeah. they'll go, holy shit, you look good for 47. <laughs> yeah, you don't look a, a day over 36. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Make yourself 10 years older than what you are. And people will go, oh, my God. <laughs> that's a good that's a good plan actually but you know the thing is um for asians like girls you can never tell their age man they never. all look so young all the time they do that's so true man. that is so it. true you can never tell their age no oh my god have you ever seen the show lost yeah do you remember the korean chick i can't remember i think i, her I don't remember her name, but i know what you're talking about yeah 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 so, and the other guy, uh, her husband, who played uh -huh. on that show, yeah. in that show, that uh -huh. dude was 25 years old. Yeah. Okay. Even, th even though he looked like 40, 45, but yeah. the chick, she looked maybe about 25, 26, and she was actually 35 years old then. Wow. Crazy man, crazy Asian women age so good. Yep, yeah, they really do. I know that's amazing. And they're all and their 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 body shape is all like amazing too. Yeah, yeah. I don't think for the food or the, the the culture or whatever it is, but their 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 shape is just like unbelievable. It's genetics, man. It's genetics. It's, it's gotta be. It's gotta Asian be. people have great genetics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, all right, Brian. Let's let's cut it here because this one's almost dead, and I gotta still make a phone call. All um, right, sounds good. But, uh, I'll, I'll message you in the morning there again. Okay, that sounds good. I'll be busy all day. Um, I have the girls uh, tomorrow night, but um, yeah, just let me know what you're doing. All good, man. All good. All right, okay. and uh, for everybody else as well, thanks for coming by. If you want to uh, subscribe, do so. If you want to give a thumbs up, do so. If not, hopefully we'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, maybe in the afternoon, but for sure tomorrow night, 11 p.m. Eastern. Um, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Brian, you have a good night, and, and uh, we'll talk, okay? You too, brother, man. I'll be here. All right, man. Take it easy. You too. All right. Bye. Bye.